So, family, we got an update on the Sauce Walker TSF Rico case. Just a little bit of an update. As well as, you know, uh, the situation going on with Lil Romeo and Master P. Lil Romeo came out and expressed his feelings. If you haven't heard, it's been all over the internet. Everybody's been talking about Charleston White's reaction. We're going to uh, get into another OG's reaction. And in my personal opinion, a more credible OG. The man that Charleston White is more so inspiring to be. Even though this man is no longer as famous as Charleston White, he is putting his best foot forward, has his feet in the soil, and is doing what he says that he was going to do. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of the community. Then we got to holler at Brick Baby. It's early in the morning where I'm at, man. You know, birds are chirping and whatnot. Got to have that window open, that sun coming in, and just enjoying that morning time, man. So, you know, grand rising to everybody out there, man. Rise and grind. Let's get up and get to it. So, without further ado, man, we got that man, Sauce Walker. As it says, last week, the FBI in Houston announced the arrest of 14 men on drug and firearm related charges. According to local news channel Fox 26, the defendants are allegedly members of the Sauce Factory. The label group run by Sauce Walker, a popular independent rapper from Houston with the national profile. Sauce Walker, real name Albert Walker. Mondane was not named in the FBI's press release. The Houston residents arrested last Wednesday were Anthony Ketchum, Anthony Yazino Hopkins, Brandon Milson, Hassani Mills, Jalen Pinson, Josu Rodriguez, Keith Moore, Michael Henry, Miles Smith, Robert Thompson, Sterling Brumont, Titus Basie, and Tori Wright. Another defendant, Julian Herrera, was already in custody on previous charges. Pre-trial detention hearings are scheduled to begin on December 19th at 9 a.m. Twelve of the individuals named in the press release are charged with possession of methamphetamine with intent to distribute and face life in prison and fines up to $10 million. The remaining defendants, Robert Thomas, and Josu Rodriguez face gun charges that carry up to 10 years in prison. So as y'all can see, man, uh, pretty much, man, they trying to, you know, give them the roll roll. Now, we know that all charges downtown carry up to life in prison or felony charges. All those major class A felonies carry up to life in prison. So whenever you hear that, you know, that's just something like smokes. That's just something that they use to scare the defendants on trial. But if you do have priors depending on the state, you know, uh, he could get that life sentence. Now, uh, I will say this, man. Uh, when it comes to that case, man, we know Sauce Walker's name is not involved. He's not a part of it. If he was, the story would be a lot bigger than it is right now. But I will say this, man. Uh, Sauce Walker, the feds are coming. They are coming. This is your warning. Now, Sauce did get off of Instagram. He deleted his Instagram. He has not spoke on it. He's staying away from it, and that's the smartest thing for him. To not do anything that could incriminate him. You feel me? To not do anything that's making it seem like he's funding the release of these men. You know what I'm saying? So as long as he uh, continues to stay off radar, as long as he continues, you know, to black himself out of all the extras, he should be good. You know, just make sure you ain't got no trees in the car out in Texas. Make sure you ain't got no slaps around you. Just stay clear look hey all the extras ain't worth it if i was you i would stay at home for uh, uh hey man i'd be at home for some months i send everybody else out to go do what uh, i need done you know the only time i would leave is if it was for shows i'd probably leave with security somebody who is licensed to have these hammers not none of the homies that protect me none of that I'm, I'm gonna move properly you know what i'm saying because they on you bro this is them sending a message to you that we are coming. That's all it is, bro. So just stay clear. But on the cool, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And let's go ahead and move on. For those of you who don't know what Romeo said, Romeo said this. This was my last straw, Pops. Stop playing the victim. I loved you so much that I followed you blindly for 30 plus years. You know we talk behind closed doors. You are not the man who you painted to be. Why is it WAR? Because I refuse to follow your lead. You only want to protect your image, but the image isn't even real. And I don't need anyone to feel sorry for me, Pops. 
I'm truly a man of God. If you are really a man of God, then you will prevail in the end. Even when I share my truth, I've tried to keep things in house. You are addicted to social media and unfortunately use this app as therapy. 3K plus post a week with the looking emoji. And when the world find out about the finances outside of a gift or a car, I've never been paid for anything I've accomplished as Lil Romeo, Uncle C, and Silk. No, you only pay outsiders, rightfully so. They'll speak good on your name. I'm at peace because I can now speak my truth and help others. Mom was always right. Your pride is everything. Someone responded to that. And he says, nah, I feel you, Pete. You gave them kids good life and opportunities. What they do with it is on them. They ain't come up poor or needed for anything. To which Romeo responded and said, all my siblings are broke, bro. Never even had money to afford college. And nothing is wrong with that. He just shouldn't paint a certain life that isn't real. One big house to stunt in is a minimal way of thinking. Someone else responded and said, he had a better life than me. I don't blame my peoples. And he says, man, we've been living month to month since I was 18. Stuff's a mirage. Someone else responds and said, you set the foundation financially for the family. We can all agree on. But it's more to that than just money. That's my only gripe with the older generation. Just because money was put down doesn't mean it's enough. Other than that, I hope you solve your family issues privately. God bless you. And then Romeo responds to that and said, I've been taking care of my pops, bro. Never touched no little Romeo money. All went to pay off his, his IRS taxes. I've been more than loyal. The truth will set us all free, though. So as you see, man, uh, everybody, uh, JT, the bigger figure, put out a response to this. And I'm going to give my response. I was going to go get my response, but I'm going to let him speak. And then uh, I'll give my response to both of these men. Man, I wake up and see this shit, man, about Master P and his son, and I think about my son. Man, fuck that, man. We ain't kissing no son ass P, man. Tell that nigga go start his own business, nigga. Cry baby ass, grown ass men's, nigga. Nigga, we do all this work for these niggas, and then they get to acting funny. Nah, fuck that shit, P. Kick that nigga out the mansion, too. Nigga, go get your own shit, nigga. You could have been started a business, Romeo. You out of pocket for that shit, nigga. For 30 years, I didn't get nothing. Nigga, you could have started your own business with some of them stacks you did receive. Nigga, come on, cut it out, bro. These goddamn kids, bro, these niggas ain't about shit sometime, man. That's why I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm the daddy that I I'll fuck that nigga then, nigga. I'm sitting screaming, fuck my son, nigga don't love me. Nigga, fuck you too then, nigga. And that's the truth. This shit a reality, bro. True story, nigga. My son took to the streets. He was like, fuck it, I'm going to go live a life of crime. It wasn't because we didn't have no money, though. That nigga just wanted to be <laughs> one of them niggas out there. So, But Romeo, you out of pocket, nigga. That mean you didn't learn nothing from P. You didn't learn no independent hustle. Nigga, I never saw you start your own nothing. When y'all when was buzzing and you was 18, 19, and 20, 25, nigga, you could have spent off, nigga, with some of that money and been like your father. Instead, you just sat there. Hell nah, P didn't hold you back, nigga. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't know them details, but nigga, that sound crazy. Nigga, for 30 years, I didn't get no check at all. Nigga, I started my business at, nigga, 14, 15, 16, nigga. I got out of jail when, oh, was I, 17? But I was trying since 14 to have my own company. Nigga, this shit crazy, man. But anyway, y'all have a good day, man. I'm over here just waking up. I just woke up to the bullshit. Like, what the fuck is all this shit? The world, boy. Yeah, I think we gonna need us some positive words, man. Let me get jump in this shower, man. I'll be see y'all in a minute, man. Let me get, let me get dressed. Man. See, I understand what JT, the bigger figure, is trying to say. But I think a lot of us are missing the point. You know, including Charles White and everyone else who has came out and responded to this situation. Because Lil Romeo is not really concerned with the money. The money isn't the point. What he's concerned with is exposing the truth and the cap. The cap, this uh, false reality that Master P has created for the fans. Making the fans believe that he is this super rich uh, CEO. Lil Romeo is saying, man, that's cap, man. And we keep feeding our whole life into this to where, you know, we can't come up. We got to live month to month. We got to live like peasants, even though we're seeing a lot of money coming in. We got to live like peasants because you want to keep this mirage going on that we are richer than we actually are. 
That's what Romeo is exposing. He don't care about not getting paid. He let that be known. Like, look, I'm riding for my pops. I paid off his taxes. I paid off everything else he owed. But enough is enough, man. I can't keep doing that. You know, at the very end of the day, man, this man is 30 plus years old. So now he's like, bro, I have to fend for myself. I cannot help my pops no more. I didn't see none of that money from my childhood. That's cool. That's fine. That happened. But I will not keep allowing the same things to happen again. That's insanity. Doing the same thing, expecting a different outcome. That's what y'all missing. You know what I'm saying? It's not being ungrateful. And then you got fans and people that are on the outside looking in, you know, responding as if uh, Master P has done nothing but take care of this, uh, the, his kids, take care of everyone else. Like he said, man, we live month to month. We live paycheck to paycheck. You know, we didn't have no college funds. We didn't have all this stuff. You know, the ITT tech commercials that used to come on with Romeo and Master P and how Master P allegedly uh, invested into ITT tech. All that stuff, man, he's coming out and exposing as cap. He's saying that Master P uh, looks out for everyone he does business with, but kind of leaves his uh, kids and everyone else on the back burner. And, you know, I don't know that to be true, man, because I'm not on the inside. But what I am saying is, you know, that's what he's saying. He's not talking about anything financial. He's not speaking on being owed anything financial. He doesn't want anything as far as currency from his pops. He just wants his pops to stop the facade, stop the addiction to social media, stop trying to fake flex, you know, live within your means, man. Keep it off the Internet. Don't do this high level business that you can't afford. There's no reason to. The people are either going to love you or hate you. You know what I'm saying? You cannot force the people to love you. But Master P, you beloved without the dollars, man. The money don't mean anything, not to the people. But whenever you hear these stories, man, about Master P, this is the first time that he has been exposed for capping or spoke on for capping or, you know, being involved in, you know, trying to double cross his family members. We've seen that before, you know, with the uh, with the C murder situation. You know, it was a whole fiasco going on about, you know, him trying to ruin C murder's case. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's besides the fact as of right now. But that just shows you like is taking his word credible at this point. You know, when all these uh, different allegations keep coming out about Master P uh, double crossing his peoples, I'm just saying, you know, at the very end of the day, man, you cannot always choose the one who is more beloved by the media. You got to take other people's uh, opinions and other people's words into accountability whenever you evaluate in situations like this. Romeo is fed up. Romeo is tired. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it might be uh, that, you know, he wants something that he didn't come out and say. Maybe he, yeah, Master P might have told him no. Maybe, maybe that might be the case. And he finally felt like, you know, it's time to expose something since I can't get nothing. Maybe that might be the case. But I will say this, though, man. Uh, as far as it goes, man, as far as fans, we can't get into their business, man, because we don't know the specifics. We don't know if Romeo is telling the truth or if Master P is telling the truth. Either way, that's between a father and a son. So for all these old men to keep hopping up and giving their opinion and expressing their opinion and trying to stand behind Master P, you don't know what's going on. You're making yourself look like a fool in the end. Because if it comes out that Romeo is telling the truth, man, then what do you say? You feel me? That's all I'm saying. But like that wasn't it for man, the JT, the bigger figure, man. As you know, he also showed, you know, that uh, he is out in the community in Africa. And uh, shows y'all what it looks like, man, to shop in Africa. We kept our word. We back again. We back again. To God be the glory for helping us to do this type of work, man. I know how to do it, man. I know how to go to the hood, man, and get my people straight. Man. You got them? You got your loose? Yeah, I got my loose. All right, let me go. Whoever comes to the restaurant, is, only people who stay here is on the list. Every Niggas gonna quit playing with me. I'm finna prove I'm a real chef. Yes, sir. It's that chef life. I'm a real chef. I'm a real. Show these people what I'm really, what I learned in Africa. 
Cause when I get to the house, they gonna respect me better. Ain't no street nigga cooking better than me. I mean, nobody, man. I'm just talking about skinny nigga productions, man, you know? <laughs> I'm going with the virgin olive oil. You know what I mean? Some simple shit. Show these niggas what my, my cooking skills like. Yeah, show these, show these folk. Show these, bye. That's okay, let me put all this shit down here. Yeah, let's get it all together, man. Show these niggas. Fig, you a real chef like 40 water? Boy, I'm finna do it. I'm finna prove it. I'm finna prove it to these niggas, man. That's real shit, nigga. I'm a real chef, nigga. I mean, today I'm gonna be. I said, I'm tired of cooking, uh, people cooking for me. I done learned all the cooking secrets now. I don't even need no cook no more. I got wifey and mama, uh, I could call for backup. But as of right now, I'm finna do this on my, to the face. I've been on YouTube. I got all the secrets to the recipes now. It's over with. Hang it up. Now nah, I'm just saying though. Cause I'm finna start my cooking show. I mean, I'm finna, nigga, these niggas getting paid off cooking shows. I'm like, hold on. Let me, let me get, let me, let me show my skills. I'm finna go buy me a new grill and a new, some new pans. Fuck it, I'm going, I'm finna go all out. Welcome to Africa, man. Top of the morning. Yes, sir. I'm finna prove, nigga, I'm that guy. JT, you that guy, bro. You just cooked up some shit like my nigga. I ain't know you know how to do that. <laughs> I didn't, but I just learned how. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna put this on camera too. I don't want nobody to say nobody else cooked it for me. I'm finna show him I did it. I am the chef. Big is the chef, man. Where my yogurt go? Which one I got? Plain yogurt. Show the world what I'm worth. Ah, there you go. And last but not least, man, I'm gonna leave y'all on this tip, man. That man, Brick Baby, doing his best blue face impression. Having this broad due to Christian Rock saying she gonna, you know, take her tooth out and whatnot. You know, just uh, basically paying homage to Blueface and Christian Rock, man. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Let me know how y'all feel about everything in this video, man. Shout out to that man, JT, the bigger figure, though, man. Like I said, he's in the community over there in Africa doing what he said he was gonna do. Feel more Africa. Y'all know, man, he said he was gonna do that years back. And he really standing on that. Man got properties. He, you know, still working with Empire, still putting out his uh, his movies and all that. Man, he's still doing his thing, man. So yeah, I rock with that, man. I rock with a man who says what he means and means what he says and stand on his word and do what he says he's gonna do. It's always respectable. And shout out to Romeo and Master P as well, man. Y'all kings, man. Keep that off the internet. This she gonna get her tooth took out for me. Seven out of ten people. people taking it, can stay on their current dose of most mental health. So she gonna get her tooth to go for me And she gonna wear a uh, shit face, baby Yeah, all right You know what I'm saying? Dead homies, she gonna put the bird on the tooth Dead homies with the blue rag around the motherfucking neck Bitch, and if you don't It's over Or I'm going to go tell blue face Scoot over, nigga I need your bitch I'm gonna come spend the night, face uh, I need I need to get the sauce to where the bitch take a loss and wipe it off.